Hi Shakers and Movers, great to have your company here on another report for Music or Australia. This is an unbiased report and if uh, you want to be a DJ, maybe a little bit of Dead Mouse, why not? Then you'll need to catch up with this. The DJ 202 by Roland featuring the wonderful Serato software. Now, the software and the controller go hand in hand. One's no good without the other. So for the first part of our little review, we'll be talking about the software and then we'll look at a simple look at what the hardware can do for you. Well, let's just look at um, how we can open up the Serato DJ Light app, which we'll do right now. And it's thinking, thinking, thinking. All right. I've already signed up to the um, uh, light version, so um, I don't need to do that anymore but uh, when you first go in you'll need to do that to be able to download the copy so we'll just get rid of that at the moment. Now what it should do when it uh, opens up is there we go on the left you can see right here it's going to open up all of the music and um, everything you've got with regards to uh, you know WAV files mp3 uh, in your uh, laptop or system uh, for which you'll be able to choose which tracks you might like to uh, pop up as your first two starters for the night. So let's have a look and see if we can pick a couple, eh? All right, let's have a look. Uh, Eskimo Joe sounds like a pretty good band. Now, all we need to do to load that one into the first part or the first part of the console on the left is just click on that particular song and drag it up to here where it says drag song, song here. And you'll see how it's loading over here. There we go. That one's in. Now, of course, uh, being a DJ as we would want to be, we'll want to go and queue up and uh, load up more songs as we go along. So let's have a look uh, down here and uh, let's find another one. Uh, London Grammar. Nice. Okay. Let's, let's drag that one up into the second part or the right-hand side of the console. There we go. Okay. So we've now got both songs um, loaded up into Serato DJ Lite. And... Uh, hmm. We can uh, play those, obviously, if we want. But before we go there, let's have a look at a couple of other things that uh, may be of interest for you in the Serato DJ um, system. So you can see at the top here, we've got uh, Serato DJ Pro for $1. Now, uh, that's an introductory um, subscription uh, for those people who really are into being a DJ, uh, you know, going to the parties, discos, all of that sort of stuff, uh, then you'll probably want to go for the DJ Pro. It's going to offer you a lot more uh, options and things and effects and uh, all of those things, and you may wish to do that. Personally, I'm a playing musician, so I'm, I'm not a DJ per se, although I have worked, um, you know, as a radio announcer uh, for some time. And uh, they're very similar in uh, many ways to what happens in a, an ordinary studio, um, including all of the things like sound effects and uh, all of that. Uh, you can see up here as well, we've got um, effects button. So we press on the effects button here. We can go down here. We can choose things like, uh, you know, flange or echoes, reverbs, phrases, phases, I should say, and, um, and others as well. And we can load those up and we can use those, you know, in conjunction with the music we're playing, a bit of you know scratching here and there, and uh, all of that. So there you go. There's a look at uh, Serato DJ Light. Um, for most people who just want to do simple DJing uh, jobs and tasks, uh, this will be uh, quite a simple program. Uh, once you get to understand the software and how to use it, uh, you won't have any problems. It'll be very very straightforward and quite easy to use with the with the console. Remember, of course, with the console, you are going to need a laptop, um, you are going to need a microphone, and of course, uh, a set of headphones, um, so that you can listen to your queue ups and things like that. So in other words, whilst you're playing the song, you're loading up the next song, you're using your software, um, and uh, you can hit the queue button on uh, whatever side isn't playing at the moment, and you can listen for that queue up of that particular tune. So there we go. That's a look at the Serato DJ Lite. All of these things you can get from uh, Music Core Australia. So uh, if you need the other items to uh, put together for your DJ set, you can have a chat to them and uh, and we'll have a look on their web pages and get all the uh, all the info on all the other gear you might need. Um, the other thing you may need uh, if you're doing a private function, uh, whether it be a home or a hall or something like that. In other words, not a licensed uh, uh, premise. They right, usually um, have the uh, licensing uh, arrangement uh, going. Uh, is you may need a license so uh, for that and uh, 
you can uh, find out all about that if you wish. Uh, good idea, you don't want to get caught playing um, <laughs> music uh, to a live audience and then find out the fine is uh, horrendous and uh, it uh, pretty much puts what you've made <laughs> out the window and we don't want that for you and I'm sure you don't either so check it out I'll see if I can put a link uh, to that on the um, on the written review of this really particular product dig deep and uh, if you want to do this uh, really well uh, then it'd be a good idea to uh, work with the software first understand a little bit about that before you start looking at the console and um, you know, start putting your mix together and, and all the rest of it. Uh, it'll, they work hand in hand, so you can't really have one without the other, so you really need to know uh, both of them as well. We'll get to the hardware side of the um, console very, very shortly. As I sort of explained before and in, in the written article, uh, you're gonna need a few more things to be able to do this DJ business. It's not as simple as it looks, although it could be as simple as it looks, but uh, you'll need the magnificent DJ202 Serato. You'll also need the software provided by Serato. Now you can get Serato Lite, as I said, for free. Uh, if you want the pro version, you'll have to sign up to a subscription. And I would say that if you're serious about being a DJ, you'll probably do that because you will get a lot more features with that. For my purposes, I've just loaded up the Lite version and uh, it seems to work pretty well. So <laughs> we won't worry too much about that now. Uh, I'm a practicing musician, so I'm not an actual, well, I am a DJ. I've been a DJ at Fraser Coast FM 107.5 for about the last three and a half years. Uh, since I stopped recently, uh, because I was concentrating on other things, um, and the console is very similar to consoles you'll find in uh, radio stations, very straightforward. Uh, you've obviously got your cue buttons where you can cue up songs, you play, You've got special effects, which we'll talk about. Uh, your centre section, which will give you all your EQs and volumes and everything for uh, left and right sides. And generally, the right side is just a duplication of the left side, so that's okay. Now, you're going to need a microphone, and you're going to need a pair of headphones, so you can listen in one ear to how you're queuing up your next tune, so you can kick it in at exactly the right spot where you want to start. And uh, you're going to need a public address, a PA system or a decent sound system uh, to get you going. So you can talk to um, Music Core about all of that because of course you can actually rent the rest of that gear if, if you need it uh, from them as well and uh, also purchase as well. So, you know, don't think just because they rent products they don't just sell them as well, they do. You can, you can hunt for that uh, on their website and uh, you can find uh, very, very competitive prices. And indeed, if you do decide to rent, you can at any stage rent buy and um, it's worked out pretty well for me and I hope it's working out well for you. Hope you're enjoying the series. Let's uh, talk a little bit about what, what you can do on the DJ202 Serato from, we can uh, queue up the system, uh, a new song, which we've already got loaded in our Serato on our um, computer. Oh, that was the other thing I meant to mention. You need to have a laptop or a computer because without that, <laughs> this would be no good to you and vice versa. So make sure you've got a laptop or a computer. Uh, computer for practicing, I don't I guess you're gonna take your computer to all of the gigs you do and, uh, <laughs> and everything else, um, but you will need a laptop as well. Once again, you can also talk to Music Core Australia about that also. So we need to queue up a song, just using the Q button here. Let's start off with the first track and um, hopefully we're gonna get some sound through my sound system now. Here we go. So just generally, it's a very simple operation, just basically you'll wanna queue up your track using your, your headphone and using your Q uh, button right here, you'll queue it up and uh, then you'll see that your play buttons are flashing here for, for play pause. I know we do start the first track is hit the play. There we go. You can do lots of great things with this as well. Just kick the volume down a little bit. That's better. So we can hear what we're doing, what we're talking about. Um, you might like to add uh, a few um, few effects, which you can do as well. You can also. I can get into that. <laughs> okay, so you're able to do all of those wonderful things that DJs do, and they love doing that sort of stuff. Um, look, if you're a professional DJ and you want to make your own tracks and mix them and do all of that, you can do that as well. 
and of course it, it'll play on this unit also through your Serato uh, software. Um, in the middle section here we've got things like you know our EQs, bass, trebles, our uh, micro microphone volumes, our headphone volumes, everything is in the center console here is with regards to what's coming out that end and what's coming out in here. I hope you've enjoyed our little preview of the DJ202 Serato DJ mixing unit and uh, look forward to catching up with you again as soon as possible with the next one coming up I think in the next quarter towards the end of the year. I hope you're home safe, you're looking after yourselves, doing well and indeed whilst you're home you've got a great opportunity to research all of these wonderful things. I think we might queue up the next track. Let's have a listen to see what we've got here and switch it over. There we go. <laughs> all right. Great to have you come. We catch up with you next time. Rob Cash signing off.